evening folks, Manny Bichotta is here. We got some good news today. The court handed down its decision in the case of the Clevelander versus Miami Beach over the 2 a.m. curfew. They decided it is in fact an unconstitutional restriction which goes beyond the limitations of their contract, that is their liquor license, that they are due damages. The city said it would appeal. And we, I think we can expect the same result as what happened with the Tootsie's case. For those of you who don't know, Tootsie's sued months ago when the county had a midnight curfew. They wound up getting over $2.2 million out of the county for the earnings that they lost by not being able to be open between midnight and 5 a.m. Then the county appealed. So the appeals court still hasn't decided. And the appeals court allowed the curfew to remain in effect until the hearing, which essentially kept Tootsie's closing at midnight until the county actually lifted the midnight curfew. One week after legislation went into effect from Tallahassee, making the curfew illegal. From the 1st of June, they were opening until 5 a.m. despite the countywide midnight curfew. The county never cited them. Since the 1st of June, there's been state statute lifting all COVID regulations, saying that local governments had to allow clubs to be open during all the hours of operation delineated on their liquor license. The Clevelander sued Miami Beach over the 2 a.m. Uh, curfew because their liquor license says they can stay open until 5. The court today decided, using the Tootsie's case as precedent, and the fact that there was state legislation in place, they could not be limited to a 2 a.m. closing. Now, the Clevelander is due approximately a half a million dollars from the city, and they will probably settle. Uh, in the meantime, the city says it's going to appeal. The lower court has not had a hearing to decide the damages yet, but the Clevelander was asking for $100,000 a week, which at this point is about $600,000. Anyway, all the bars on Ocean Drive and Collins Avenue are going to be open until 5 a.m. until the appeals court hears this thing. They may at the first hearing ask for a temporary injunction. They haven't filed the appeal yet. But what the county did with Tootsie's was as soon as the lower court decided it, they appealed it. They immediately asked the appeals court for an injunction to allow the curfew to remain in effect until the appeal was heard. Then the state legislation went into effect and the county lifted their curfew before the appeal was heard. That's probably what's going to happen here. As soon as the city files its appeal, which they'll probably do tomorrow, they're going to probably ask the appeals court for an injunction to allow them to continue closing the bars at 2 until the appeals court hears it. So since the Tootsie's case preceded this one, if the city does appeal, and I'm out. the appeals court is probably going to put it on hold until Tootsie's case is decided. There you have it. At least for the time being, we're back to 5 a.m. closings. Well, it's Miami Beach Audits. I'll see you all on the next one. I'm out of here. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification.